School reopening recommendations have shifted for the towns of Exeter, Stratham, Newfields, Brentwood, East Kingston, and Kensington from in-person to remote instruction. Superintendent David Ryan explaining why during Monday night's school board meeting. At this time, we cannot guarantee that we will have everything we need to ensure an in-person first day of school. Citing complex layers of uncertainty. And those range from the availability of cleaning supplies, the availability on the market for PPE, the availability in the personnel or the, of the personnel, such as te uh, teachers and staff. But he also expressed alarm at disturbing language and threats on social media directed at teachers. I believe that there were some groups looking to, or a group looking to photograph teachers without wearing masks in the community. I believe there's a group based on the written information I've seen that is blaming this on teachers. I think the best word I can use to describe it is disheartening that this is what it's come down to. The NEA president says unions there didn't take a position on remote learning and have been working with the SAU, but that it's become all too common to blame teachers for what's happening. It's not an us versus them. We're, we're with everybody on this because we're community members. We have children, we have families. The individual school boards in the Exeter SAU still have to vote on the proposal, but it's clear so many districts statewide still trying to figure this out. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.